In 490 BC, a Greek soldier ran the 25 miles from Marathon to Athens to bring news of a Greek defeat of the Persian army. According to legend, Pheidippides completed the grueling distance, but sadly did not survive the run. Today, his epic feat is commemorated as the Olympic Marathon, an event that holds every bit of its original fascination as runners continue to confront the limitations of body and mind. And now, the marathon is coming home to the mother city. On the 21st of September, runners from across the world will be racing against the clock, competing in the brand new Cape Town Marathon. This city marathon will be showcasing the continent's remarkable talent for long-distance running, hosted by the Mother City. The event, a joint partnership between Western Province Athletics, Awesome Running and the City of Cape Town, is endorsed by sporting legends Ilana Meyer and Francois Pinar. So you've done this before. This year, a cracking new route through the heart of Cape Town will traverse the city's most iconic spots, showing the mother city's biggest attractions to best effect. Starting at the Cape Town Stadium, the 2014 route takes runners past the Greenpoint Lighthouse and along the popular Seapoint Promenade towards Camps Bay, a spectacular section flanked by the towering Twelve Apostles. After an initial flat and fast section, runners change gears for a hill climb along Kloof Road underneath Lion's Head and Signal Hill. Legs get a bit of a rest along High Level Road as the pack passes above Table Bay Harbour and the waterfront. Runners then descend into the heart of the city through the colourful Boerkarp and past the Company Gardens via Government Avenue and St George's to Adderley Street. From here, they head southeast onto the Grand Parade and past the City Hall, where Nelson Mandela made his first public speech after his release. Then it's uphill again as runners climb through the historic District 6, a long stretch through Main Road past the Baxter Theatre to Rondebosch and Newlands, into Lisbeck Parkway and past Hartleyvale Stadium, and into the Table Mountain Wind Shadow as they enter the city centre abeam the historic Castle of Good Hope. Down Adderley Street, runners pass the heart of Mother City history before entering Cape Town Tourism's star attraction, the famous Victoria and Alfred Waterfront. This final stretch brings the athletes back to the finish at the Cape Town Stadium. The event is the first city marathon of its kind in South Africa, with ambitions to meet the international standards required for bronze level accreditation. Minutes to go. The bronze level status is what we need to achieve first. You know, that will mean that we need to incorporate runners from all over the world um, you know, and needs to have a certain um, participation level. The event will primarily raise funds for charities such as the Western Province Athletics Development Programs and EnduroCAD and help to revitalize marathon running in order to build the champions of tomorrow. Traditionally, South Africa has done really well over the marathon distance, but over the last decade, um, the performance has, has definitely um, decreased. And through EnduroCAD, we want to assist and support runners to be able to perform on the highest level again. The 2014 Cape Town Marathon consists of a standard marathon, a 10 km peace run, 10 and 20 km trail runs, a 5 km fun run, 4.2 km relays and elite street miles. Of course, it's not all about the running. The race starts at 8am to allow for spectator participation in supporter zones, where live bands will help cheer on runners. A beer garden, food stalls, runners expo and live music will be adding to the festive atmosphere. Cape Town is already a major tourist attraction and we are now adding another annual event. It's one of our best marketing tools is the city of Cape Town. 
We have on the sporting front, the largest time cycle race in the world. But one element of the puzzle that still needs to fit is a marathon. You know, I've run races, um, big city marathons in London, New York, LA, Tokyo, you know, and it's an unbelievable um, experience. Um, you know, but still Cape Town is the city closest to my heart. For us to have one of the, the biggest marathons in the world uh, would be very special. To showcase our scenery and to invite the best athletes in the world to come and compete against our best. I look forward to 2014 that's going to be a very eventful year but it's also 20 years celebration of our new democracy. So it's all in the spirit of celebration and appreciating what we have.